Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day here in Trustville, Ian Maddox, HMFP, and this is our Financial Planning Simplified video series. As you'll see, we have Virginia Morris joining us again this morning. Last week, we were able to connect and understand a little bit about Virginia's professional background. We continue to be excited about what she brings to the table for our clients, her clients, collectively here for the community in terms of brain trust and our financial planning and wealth management capabilities. But today, we thought we'd go a little more personal and, and get to know Virginia a little bit about her family, her background, what she does for fun, maybe even the food she likes to eat. So Virginia, sure. give us just a, you know, a couple minutes here on your family, husband, kids, what sure. you guys do for sure. fun. So my husband Bobby and I have been married for 18 years and we've been in the trustful community uh, for about 12 or 13 years um, of that time. We have twin boys that are 15, just turned 15 recently, started driving. That's been a fun experience. Stressful. Uh, yes. <laughs> they are freshmen at Hewitt Trustful High School, um, both very, very active, involved in a lot of different things. Um, both of them were in band, uh, just finished their first marching band season. And one of them, in addition to band, um, is a very active runner. So mm. he just finished his first cross country season. Love that. Along with Brooks. Right. Um, My son runs son, as well. Yep. And is currently in the track season. So very, very busy. Um, they're both uh, enjoying high school so far. It's been a little more academically challenging, but they, they've taken that task at hand and done very well with it. That's awesome. So. Uh, I happen to know this. You don't, but you're about to find out. Uh, Bobby, uh, Virginia's husband, also works in financial services. So give us a little bit of snapshot of what Bobby does. Sure. Um, he has uh, been in financial services probably about the same amount of time that I have, probably, probably 28 or so years. Uh, most of that time he has spent on the investment in the investment world. Um, so it's uh, his specialty is bonds. Actually, he's a, a fixed income analyst uh, for a large bank, and he really spends his days kind of putting together bond portfolios um, for advisors like us to be out, able to take out to their clients and, and share. Yep, that's awesome. I know Bobby's a big music guy. I've heard all about the record collection. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, he's a I, you know, you guys obviously go to concerts. So, you know, give me an idea like when you guys go to a show, like what draws you in? Like, what's the last show you went to? What's mm -hmm. the next one sure. you're going to? Just sure. give us a little little bit of an idea inside of the mind of Bobby, as you'd say. Right? Yeah. You follow him mostly, right? Yes. Yeah. Not that it, you don't have your own opinions. If I was choosing, it would probably be country music. Okay. Okay. That is probably his least favorite <laughs> genre. So uh, our last big concert was Garth Brooks. That was my one of my bucket lists. Okay. So, so he made you happy um, with that one. Yes. So we have uh, we have done a lot of his bucket list, and the next one that's coming up is Rolling Stones. We'll be going to the Rolling Stones that's amazing, concert in because probably not June. too many more opportunities to see that's the right. Stones. We saw Phil Collins a few years ago. Okay. Um, we have Journey coming up soon. So a lot of classic, classic rock kind that's, of that's music. That's his jam. That is cool. All right, last question. This is another fun one because I love to eat. Uh, if you could pick <laughs> one genre of food that you had to, you know, that's all you could eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? That's a hard question uh, well, because yeah. I, want a, I like a, a lot, lot of genres. Food. Yes, you like food? I do. Um, but I would probably say maybe steak. I love steak. a good steak. Okay. Um, if we're going out and we wanted to go on a good date night, we probably would go somewhere like Perry's or you know, maybe Village Tavern, somewhere that has a really good steak. Yeah, I was gonna, that was going to be my next question is, wh where's the best steak that you remember ever having? Was it in Alabama? Mm. Ooh, that's a really hard question. I'm not sure. I don't know if I can answer that. Um, I think Perry's is pretty good. Perry's does make Although a good they steak. do have a good pork chop as well. So. Yeah, it's gigantic. Yes. It's two meals, um, really. Yes. Yeah. But we're so busy, we mostly stay in Trustful um, for all of the wonderful eateries we have in, in town. So That's most awesome. often we would um, go to Mexican or something like that. So. Well, we appreciate it. We're again excited to have Virginia part of the team and we'll look forward to connecting with you again as we move into 2024. HMFP, Ian Maddox, till next time.